guys, what is up, it's Mace. Welcome back to Blades and Glazed. Okay, so I've been so damn excited about today's video because today, today we are doing another thrift swap video. I did one of these a couple of weeks back with my friend Alexa, which I will have linked down below. But if you haven't seen it, we basically just thrifted our own wardrobes and curated boxes for each other that like we felt really spoke to each other's style or were pieces that would really push us out of our own comfort zone. So today I am doing that again with my friend Haley from Haley and the Details here on YouTube. I will have her channel linked down below as well as her video curating a box for me because that is what we are doing today. I'm going to curate a box of thrifted and vintage items from my own wardrobe for Miss Haley. And if you are new to my channel, I make multiple videos a week all about thrifting and secondhand style, being yourself, letting your sparkle shine out your damn booty hole, and having a good time just like celebrating life and doing you. So if that sounds like the vibes you are interested in, hit subscribe down below. And we are going to get right into this. You guys seem to really enjoy this video when I did it a couple of weeks back and I'm so excited. It's like thrifting is so fun because I can use my own eye to pick out the pieces that I love and gravitate towards, but it's also really fun to have someone do it for you. Basically, she's going to be my virtual stylist today and I'm going to be hers so a couple of weeks back I actually curated this box together and I just got the items and I am so damn excited to open my box but before we get into me sharing all of the goodies that Haley sent me I am going to take you guys back to a couple of weeks ago when I thrifted my own wardrobe and came up with some fire ass looks for Miss Haley in the details Okay guys, so I've been having a bit of a rough and tumbly quarantine kind of day. So I'm about to boost my own mood and head into my closet to carry this box for Haley. I'm so excited to pick these items out for her because I know she is someone who will experiment with anything. I know anything I put in this box, she will find a way to make it work. Plus I know a bitch loves colorful, crazy 80s fashion as much as I do. So this is gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. Okay, so right off the bat, I am considering giving her one of my thrifted robes. I have quite a collection of them. Oh my God, maybe I'll even give her, I think I might give her this set, guys. You're probably gonna all think I'm crazy because this is literally something that I got on my last thrift trip before everything closed down and I haven't even gotten to wear it yet. So I'm thinking I'm gonna give her this because it has a matching dress. Like, I feel like this is a winner. Um, as much as I love it, like I feel like Haley will really love it. And also I know that she is quarantining in Florida instead of New York, so I just feel like this is like a Florida granny in the 80s and I know that she will, I know she'll appreciate that vibe. I feel like this is a possibility. Um, this is like a really authentic 80s piece that I absolutely love, but have also really never gotten the chance to style and think she might. I don't know though. I don't know if this is quite her 80s style. Oh, the tag is so good though, guys. Look at that tag. Look at that tag. I guess if she is in Florida, I should focus more on like warm weather clothing. Ooh, I don't know. I definitely have to send her a shimmy shake top. I just don't know which one. I want to part with, God find her a good, like lightweight one. Jesus. Guys, <laughs> I have such a hard time like parting with my shimmy shake tops. They are the my favorite part of the wardrobe and I just like never want to get rid of them. But I have to send her one, I have to spread the love. I have to spread the love. Ugh, I would think maybe this one, but I definitely want to send her one that's more sheer, more sheer of a fabric so she can actually wear it. Um, like in Florida, oh my God. I feel like she would rock the shit out of this. I don't know, I don't know. I literally just mentioned this blazer in my movie, like my top 60 fashion movies video. I will have that link down below. But I said I would like never get rid of it. And now I'm like considering getting rid of it because I feel like she could do it justice. Okay, I found some gems in the fashion clubhouse. I'm gonna package this up now. Okay, so now that that is done, I have the box right here of all of the things that Haley sent me. I am so damn excited. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier in the video, but we basically just agreed to send each other about eight to 10 items, six to 10 items that we really thought the other one would, like I said, jive with, get down with, shake and shimmy with, and then also maybe a piece or two that would push us out of our style comfort zone. So let's first dive in with the card. She sent me this like gorgeous floral card and it's very, very long. So I'll keep the mushy gushy personal 
details to myself, but she said, Dear Macy, I hope you love this box of thrifted goodies. I wanted to include at least one piece that represented each of your style fundamentals. Oh my gosh, let's hear it. The shimmy shake top, the bold 2000 sunny, I thought you there's sunglasses in here, the elastic waist pant, and the matching set. I would have included a slip dress if I had any. As soon as quarantine is over and I move to LA, we are going thrifting. Lots of love, Haley. Absolutely, yes, we are queen. Spoiler alert, if you didn't know, she's moving to LA very soon. Now let's officially dive in. So I am first seeing, okay, well, we're first gonna dive in with this shimmy shake top that I am seeing on top. This looks like it is a gorgeous, kind of like pearly colored, just like long sleeve shimmy shake top. It has some ribbing in the back and it has some ribbing in the front. BTW, I'm going to try on all these looks for you guys, of course. So this was actually super easy to style and ended up being one of my favorite looks in the video, which was surprising because it is such a basic shimmy shake top, but it looks so damn fabulous with these mint kind of like pistachio vibe pants that Alexa actually gifted me in our thrift swap, giving them some good use, some good life. And I just felt like the two items paired perfectly with my vintage Moschino bag, literally like the green and the tan and the white and like the pearl vibes we are loving. And then I just threw on these gold kind of like slide kitten heels that I got at Savers, one of the last times I was there. But honestly, I love this shirt so damn much. She knew me so well, and I feel like we are off to a fantabulous start. And like I said, this is just like a classic Macy number, a classic glazed and glazed piece. I can style this with so many different things. Plus, I have been very into this like pearl-esque color tone lately. I would love to find some dressers for my bedroom in this kind of like pearl light color. So this is definitely something I will get like a shit ton of wear out of. We're off to a fabulous start. And I see something, I see something, okay, I see something with an elastic waist band. She said there was an elastic waist pants. And yes, she is right. An elastic band is a quintessential part of the Macy Letty Blaze and Glaze wardrobe because honestly, nine times out of 10, I cannot be bothered with a button and a zip. So these look like very Haley pants. I feel like she always looks so snatched and fabulous in these. This is a beautiful like peachy kind of like pink tone. I don't have any pants in this color. I feel like I could match this with literally any colorful top in my wardrobe. These are fantastic. I mean, wow guys, every look I am loving more and more. These pants are such a damn star. I didn't know I was going to love them so much. So they fit perfectly, thank you girl. And I absolutely knew I had to pair them with these kitten heels. These are also from Savers. And then on top, I'm doing this cable knit sweater that I think I also did get at Savers. And I ended up just chopping this a while back. I don't like recommend chopping your cable knit sweaters, but like I've never had an issue with it in the past. So chop at your own risk. And then just paired it with my little vintage Fendi bag and honestly, I didn't expect this to be one of my fave looks, but it is bringing all the vibes for me and I feel so cute And this is making me want to go frolic around outside and see people but we will be there soon and I will be rocking this look Ugh, I can't get over how good. So yes, these are a power statement pant that say I am here I am wearing peach and the booty looks good. The booty always looks good. Oh guys This is already giving me immense 2000s vibes who else is already having flashbacks of those shirts that would like expand when you stretch them It looks to be a shimmy shake top and I literally feel shoulder pads in the shoulders This is the weirdest texture I've ever felt on a shirt in my life But it reminds me so so much of this gorgeous number right here that I thrifted like right before the shutdown that had like these amazing textures I feel like she was in the know that I'm very into textured tops right now, especially a good textured shimmy shake top. And oh, I can't wait to try this on. So since this top has some very much appreciated shoulder pad action going on, I decided to do it as like an open face jacket situation. So I just have it on with like a really simple outfit. It's obviously the dem star of the show. The back's pretty cute too though. One of you beautiful ass queens made this. And then I just have it on with really solid bases. This is a thrifted white crop tee. And then you guys know my favorite split booty crack jeans. These have not been getting as much wear as they used to when I left the house. I just threw it on with like these vintage Gucci little blue sunnies. I literally never get a chance to wear these, but I figured since it's kind of a teal moment, we could do kind of a blue moment. And then like I said, this little bag and bada bing bada bang. We are ready to step on the town. We are ready to make a basic outfit chic AF. And yes, I am loving this top. It's so good. It's so textured. It's so yummy. I completely forgot to show you the shoe choice. These are just like a little thongy thong thong thong. Cue the thong thong song. Blue and green heel moment from St. Vincent de Paul. Long Beach location. So yeah, like I said, this is truly just gonna be one of those iconic pieces that is pulled for a look for a moment for a damn situation. And I can't wait to wear it. Whew, okay, should we do the designer thing? I see a little D and a little G poking out. I have a feeling these are the 2000s sunny she was referring to. Oh my God, queen, 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 queen. Okay, so I do have to say, of course, like Dolce & Gabbana, very problematic. If you do not know, now you do know. And I will link Evan Rosscat's Instagram down below. I think he has like a whole highlight on Dolce & Gabbana. I would never purchase anything from them firsthand, like only secondhand. So I feel like this is okay because it's vintage, it's secondhand, and I need to see what they are. Okay, so I'm opening them and you can tell the case is old. Oh my God, ah! 
okay you guys that are not new know that i live for a sunny and i feel like ever since this whole stay at home order situation my sunglasses have not been getting the appreciation in my videos that they are used to so let's hype these babies up yes 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 we love them they are like a gorgeous i call these like mall sunnies i used to have a prada pair very similar to these but i have given them away so this just proves my like number one through saying of all time which is you got to give good shit to get good shit and i gave away my prada sunnies and then these dolce and gabbana babies found their way to me Girl, you know I love these, you know I love these. I could do some poses, I could do some poses. My flower zit sticker just fell off. It's okay, it's all part of the moment. Ugh, I need to take a sip of water because these just made me so hot and heavy. Okay, moving on, but honestly, probably not taking these off. Next up, I see some green. I see some fabulous green. If you've been watching my channel for even a second, you know that I'm a hoe for green these days and I don't see that changing anytime soon. This is like my favorite shade. It is literally the same shade as my curtains. <laughs> I know that this will just be a staple piece. It's just like a long, billowy, fabulous shimmy shake top. Let me just try it on for you guys. Okay, so this is a very Macy look and this top is honestly amazing. I feel like you guys couldn't really tell how like billowy and amazing the cut of it is when I was showing it in the haul portion, but I feel like I have to absolutely do the half talk, excuse me, while I shove my hand in my pants. And there we go, we just do a little fixing, bada bing, bada bang. This is pretty much one of my favorite outfit combinations to do, especially during the summer. A nice shimmy shake top in like a gorgeous color. This is a gorgeous ass green, yas. And then these white vintage shorts from Squaresville Vintage. I have been rocking this since I bought them last summer. You guys know they are my faves. And then we have my big vintage work tote that I got from The Real Real for myself for Christmas. And then the same gold slides as earlier because they are the perfect running around shoe. And yeah, I'm I mean, she was completely on the money, honey, with this shirt selection because the color, the shape, the fit, the material is fantastic. Okay, I see a print that is a little bit questionable to me, but like screams Florida. Like Florida granny vibes, Florida granny, Golden Girls vibes to the max. And that's funny because literally when I was putting her box together for her, I was just thinking like 80s granny Florida yas and I'm glad she was thinking the same. So this looks like it's a matching set, hold up. So I can safely say I have no matching sets that are like this. It is a long pair of shorts, which I see her wearing on her Depop and like Instagram all the time. I don't know if I can pull off like a short that hits above my knee, but we will see. She always looks extremely snatched while doing so. And then this matching top that's basically like a short sleeve shimmy shake top. I think I'm gonna show you guys these together. Okay, are you guys ready for a big LOL? So this is the set on with literally no modifications made to it. it is on it is long and we're gonna get the damn friction on but I do believe that if I was going to go in public in this outfit I would do this little trick right here um, I was thinking about tying it in the front at first but then I remembered that I could actually tie it in the back and let me just show you guys that so to tie it in the back literally all you're going to do is take the pieces that you would normally tie into the front like this see how that just like, doesn't look very chic and you can take them so we'll roll like this all the way to the back and you can do this with like any of your like collared shirts like this and then as you guys can see i'm twisting 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 and i'm just gonna do this quick right now i would normally clean it up but then you just tuck under i have now turned this into the ultimate macy vacay kind of like tourist dad vibe if you will this totally just makes me want to like jump on a plane and come to florida and see Haley because this is iconic i never would have bought this for myself at the thrift ever 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 i would have tried on these shorts and been like what do i do in here it's making my head spin how many activities we can do i put on with a big ass chunky sneaker because i figured what else would what else would our tourist dad wear a big ass chunky sneaker, duh. And it kind of just sprung to the top of my favorites of this entire box, which I did not expect, so hell yes, queen. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at Macy Eleni because I will 100% be rocking this soon. I must, I have to, it's a necessity. Okay, so there are three more items in my little box right here. Let's go in, okay, let's go in with this. This is like another top. It's like a teal moment. Again, a shimmy shake top. It's a little bit of a different kind of shimmy shake top though. This is something I truly would never pick up at the thrift store, but I love the color so much and I feel like it'll look so good with like maybe some white on the bottom. I can't be sure, but it has like this gorgeous beading of like little squigglies that are going around it kind of look like little baby sperms all over the back but it's okay we can make sperms chic Okay, so I gotta say this spermy little number is one that I was a little bit nervous about styling because the cut is, as you can see, just like a little strange. It's a little boxy, so what do we do with a boxy item? I mean, we can leave it out, you can throw it in. So I'm going to shove my hands back in my pants and tuck this in. See, now I just think that looks a little bit better on my body specifically, so I'm really loving the color and I automatically thought of wanting to do it with like an all black accented look. So I have on just like these black thrifted sunnies and my little black Fendi baguette from The Real Real, these kind of longer black shorts 
shorts that my friend Lizbeth thrifted for me. And then to top it off, I wanted to do a chunky shoe on the bottom. And these are those furry platforms that I picked up at Savers. Again, not that long ago. I buy so many of my shoes from Savers, but these are just amazing and chunky and gorgeous. And I can just totally see myself wearing this outfit out and about. Like, I feel like we haven't danced enough in this video. Let's just like all let it out of a communal shimmy together. Okay, last two items. I literally don't ever want this box to end. I see what the last item is. I'm saving that bitch for last because that bitch is that bitch. That bitch in the box is that bitch. And she will remain that bitch in that box till I show her to you in a moment. Okay, these shorts. So I know she also lives for a high-waisted pant moment. So these are like scrunched in at the top, which I know will make them look super fire, super, super fire, especially if they fit correctly, which I'm assuming they are going to. But they are also very, very long, a la these shorts. So. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to style them specifically. I almost feel like I might look like a cam counselor, but like a chic ass cam counselor with like beautiful colorful stripes going down my booty. Um, I'm thinking I might chop these. Haley, do not kill me. I'm not gonna chop those ones, but I'm thinking I might chop these to be a little shorter so I can have like a really good high-waisted pair of shorts, but I'm not positive. We will see. Stay tuned for the try on. Okay guys, so I did not end up cutting these babies. I felt like I just couldn't yet. I feel like I cannot cut them until I've given myself a chance to wear them. And I am so happy that I didn't cut them before I tried to style them because I have them paired with this like white long men's button down that I again did that little like tie and tuck around the back kind of look and I love it. I love it so, so much. The colors on these are absolutely insane, Haley. You did an amazing job. Like I cannot get enough of the stripes on this. They're so good. So I am not going to snip them up just yet because I actually want to be able to step out in the town in this Luke's and then I paired it with these really cool like yellow block heels that I picked up from a thrift store in Ohio the last time I was there and I haven't gotten to wear these either yet so this is a brand new spanking outfit I love it so much I just feel so cute and I'm so glad I was able to like re kind of purpose some of my tops and make them a little bit more summer a little bit more cute a little bit more yas I just feel like this is something Revolve would put on their website in a second charge you $70 for when you can literally make it out of a men's top from the thrift Hell yes. So we are moving on to the last item, which looks like it's gonna be my favorite item of the entire video. It's hot as hell. Wow, this is a piece. This is a piece if I have ever seen one. Haley, I literally just wanna jump through the screen right now and kiss your face off because this is so iconic. This is everything, this is amazing. I just wanna put this on my robe right now, but like, not the vibe. Um, let me show you what the vibe will be. And for my last trick, I absolutely wanna be able to wear this vest as a top. When I saw it in the box, that was my first thought, but unfortunately, it is a little bit big for me to wear as a top instead of a vest. So I do wanna know if any of you guys have any tips for like altering leather, because this is, 100% leather so I could get it to fit like that because like how hot and coyote ugly would that be like if I could get it to fit like that because my dream is to do it with some jeans and some black kitten heels and just like rock the damn shit out of it uh, but we could also do it as a vest I mean it still evokes like very bad bitch energy as a vest so I'm here for this I could rock this in the meantime or if there's literally no way to alter leather at all because I really can't be sure at all if there is oh so good so hot Haley you knew what was up, queen. This is literally now officially one of the most iconic pieces in my entire wardrobe. I appreciate you so much for passing this on to me. So you guys need to let me know down below which item you like the best and which item you feel like is the most me. I definitely have to say my favorite items are the best, the sunnies, and da -da 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 -da. Honestly, these shimmy shake tops are just incredibly amazing and macy and just totally things I would prefer myself. So I'm gonna have to go with the textured shimmy shake top because it's something I wouldn't have picked up, but something that I now feel is absolutely necessary my life so I feel like these thrift swap videos are now definitely my favorite to make so I would love to make some more even when we're done with this whole like staying at home time because damn this was fabulous so if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up make sure to head over to Haley's video which I will have linked down below to see everything that I sent her I really hope she loved everything in her box as much as I love everything that was in mine if you are new and not subscribed already make sure to hit subscribe down below do not forget that you are a beautiful ass queen no matter what doing your damn thing just the way you do I'm not even kidding guys you are fantastic you are fabulous you shine like the stars in the damn sky and it cannot be tamed it simply cannot be tamed so I love you guys so much and I will see you back here next week Peace. Peace, love, and shimmy. Just some extra shimmies for Friday, some extra shimmies for the weekend, some extra shimmies because you're so freaking fantastic. <laughs>